Do not doubt the power of Wilfy. Wow, check this out. The build size is almost down to nothing. Actually, it is zero now. I'm not done scrapping things, you crazy game. We told you to build a reflector, not the... Not clean the place up. Oh, this looks nice. <laughs> yeah. The bummer is the build area is not that big. So unfortunately, I can't just go ransack the entire airport. Retaining wall? What's that? Bang. Yeah, everything holds itself up by magic. That's how it's going to be. All right, I think that's every last scrappable thing, except maybe this, uh... Nope, I missed a mop. A bit of debris. I can't scrap the dog. That'd be kind of cruel. Oh, more debris. Either the weather's turning shitty, yeah, it's foggy. I don't want fog. Fuck fog. <clears throat> Did I miss a painting? Oh. We need daylight for to construct things. Painting by the buses. Come on. There we go. Right. <laughs> oh, hey, the floating thing. Ha! <laughs> it's not letting me grab it. <laughs> All right, well, we have a perpetually floating um, painting. And that's how it's going to be. <sighs> Fucking game. I just told you to clear up the weather. Obnoxious. All right, let's build this dumbass contraption. Now, I'm sure she's going to want me to power the damn thing, so we'll plop one of these down. <laughs> yeah, it is a space-themed painting, isn't it? Well, it's earned the right to float there indefinitely. All right, worthless person just standing here. Excuse me, Proctor Ingram. Any luck building the platform yet? It's done. Yes, I'm ready to build the rest of it. Good, let's move on then. Here's a list of everything we'll need. Now, I know some of that might as well be in Greek, so I'll be around if you have any questions. Looks good, Ingram. I'll get to work right away. Hmm. I wish I had your confidence. Oh, one last thing before I what? forget. Yeah. It's important that all the components are wired together so all the pieces are on a single grid. Otherwise, this isn't going to work. If you need any help, I'll be over at the build site making some adjustments and calculations. I'd wish you good luck, Knight, but I think we're both going to need it. 
Well, she's only useless because she's so self-deprecating and bitchy. console <laughs> Lieutenant Dan's descendant. Why am I jumping? <clears throat> oh, because that doesn't have a... Can I not build? Oh, there we go. There's that piece. That looks pretty badass. Look what I built, lady. Maxon's waiting to talk to you, and I'm not throwing the switch until he gives us the go-ahead. Well, thanks, bitch. I Well, where is homeboy? There he is. Remarkable work, Knight. The signal interceptor appears to be complete. Are you ready to put it to the test? Oh, sure. Absolutely. I'm ready to go. Your confidence is an inspiration to us all. That being said, this is the first time we've attempted to directly adapt Institute technology. Oh, I'm sure it'll scramble my testicles. We don't know exactly what's going to happen. God willing, you'll end up inside the Institute, and the mission can continue. What are the details of my mission? I'm glad you asked. Now, I want you to listen very carefully. Once you've entered the Institute, we expect to lose contact. So it's imperative you remember everything I'm about to tell you. About ten years ago, the Brotherhood began recruiting civilian scientists from the Capital Wasteland to assist with various projects. During this process, we were able to obtain the services of Dr. Madison Lee, a noted mind in the field of nuclear engineering. How did the Brotherhood meet Dr. Lee? She was part of a civilian project in the Capital Wasteland that the Brotherhood appropriated. It wasn't difficult to convince her to stay. That said, Dr. Lee's contributions to our cause were instrumental in maintaining order in the Capital Wasteland. After some time, she developed differences with the Brotherhood, and exiled herself to the Commonwealth. We're fairly certain that her intent was to make contact with the Institute. I'm surprised that the Brotherhood let her go. Had I been in command, I wouldn't have allowed it to happen. She was a valuable asset. Your mission is simple. Once you're inside the Institute, we want you to track down Dr. Lee's whereabouts. Oh, <laughs> thank you. If you find out that she's still alive, make contact with her. And convince her it's awesome because Codsworth will say it. Of steel. There's a special project, Mr. Boston, and it needs her attention. What's this project that needs her attention? Dr. Lee previously worked on a potent weapon for the Brotherhood of Steel. 
We'd like her to continue where she left off. That's all I can tell you. Listen to me, Knight. I'm well aware that you're risking your life going into the Institute blind. Just keep your mind on the mission. And don't let anything they say sway you from your duty. Good luck. All right, from within. All right. I'm going to do this sans power armor, I think. The ship better be here when I get back. Taking my fusion core just in case. I'm actually tempted to take the power armor pieces too, but whatever. Now let's conjure it up again. Okay, here's where we start making decisions that affect the end of the game. Proctor. I've checked and rechecked everything. I think the signal interceptor's ready to go. Are you? Let's do this. All right. Head up onto the platform, and we'll see if I can find a signal to lock onto. All righty. You Pull have your assignment. Together. Get up onto that platform. Move out. Let's see. We I'm on the platform, in. you whores. Beam emitters warmed up. Everything looks green. Let me start scanning for the signal. Remember, I have Cross two legs. I'm inputting the code now. Wow, there's a heck of a lot of interference and ghosting. It's going to take a minute or two to lock in. Well, I'm By fine. The way, this little trip you're taking is a heck of an opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute and what they're up to. Oh, I will, lady. I put a clever <laughs> little program on this holotape that'll scan their network and download anything it finds. If you place it in any terminal down there, it'll do the rest. Bring it back to me and I'll see if I can make sense of whatever it found. Well, well. Looks like we have a winner. RF wave capture complete. Ramping the emitter. 60%. 80%. Here we go. Emitter spiking but steady. All that's left is to throw the transmit switch. Transmitting in three. Well, get on with it. Two, one. Stay safe, soldier. Refrain from opening fire inside the institute. It could jeopardize our entire. Football practice. <clears throat> well, um, it worked. I'm not quite dead. Save it for that god awful dialogue. Well, behold the uh, Institute. Error signal rerouted. Ro ro. I think they're on to us. Oh right, yeah. <laughs> Should probably load. <laughs> yeah, that's why I went with the uh, Brotherhood. I didn't want to have the cosmetic damage to it. the tape. Did the scan. Ah, cool. I can loot everything. <laughs> well, this place is certainly a decent or a fair bit cleaner than the rest of the Commonwealth. Hey, these consoles are animated. What? 
I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. I am known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. This place certainly looks nice. You know, when I tried to build the uh, the reactor room for Vault 88, I couldn't get the consoles to light up or do any animations. Kind of sucks. I can only imagine what you've heard, what you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Welcome to the Institute. Whoa. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, <laughs> countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. Good costumes. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. I'd like yeah. to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son. Don't talk about being on a rail. I already hate this place. The elevators aren't enclosed and they're creepy, but... Uh... Sean. Sean? Oh my god. It's really you. Who are you? Sean. It's me. I'm... I'm your dad. Father! What's going on? What's happening? Sean. Are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? What's going on? Father? Father! <laughs> It'd be fun to say number three, but I think that pisses people off. Shh, shh, shh. It'll be okay, Sean. I'm here I now. I don't know you. Go away. Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Please, Sean. I'm your father. Talk to me. Just open the door. Father? Father, help me. He's trying to take me. Father? Father, help me. Well, this robot's an idiot. Sean. S923, recall code Cirrus. Fascinating, <laughs> but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. Give me Sean, the real Sean, right now! I know. 
I know. You've gone to such lengths to find him. <laughs> God. All we're missing are the teacups and the, the white rabbit. Ah, levity. Excellent. A sure sign that you adapt quickly to stressful environments. But I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you after all this time. It's me. I am Sean. I am your son. Dun dun dun! Plot twist! How is that even possible? I know this is a lot to take in. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the son you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality. And here I am. Raised by the Institute, and now its leader. But why? Why take a child? Why take you? Ah, now that's the question, isn't it? Why me? At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. They couldn't get the boot Scientific matrix right. Curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. So the weird science experiments needed specimens. That's why they took you. In a manner of speaking, yes. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed Another source was necessary, but then the Institute found me after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations hmm. that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. Oh, I clever was exactly enough. What they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organic. Oh, great. So I'm the grandfather of every synth. Every human like synth you see today. Ew. I am so that means father. Curie. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. Oh, well. <laughs> <sighs> and you. You've been down here the whole time? I have. Yes. I know you must have questions. Please, anything I can do to help you understand. Your mother, she never got to see you grow up? Yes. What happened to her was, I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems her death was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. Collateral damage? Is that all she was to you? I forget that it's been such a short time for you. I don't have any direct memories. And I've had my entire life to cope with a loss. Has it always been easy? Of course not. But I've done my best to move on and live my life. 
For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. You know. I accepted yeah. my situation. And that was that. With old age comes regret. And asking what if more often. But what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say to ease your mind? You know, if I had uh, been in his shoes and learned that Kellogg was responsible for the death of one of my parents, I'd have killed him on the spot. Kellogg? He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. You knew the man was a psychopath, but you used him anyway? <laughs> Would you have preferred that I turned him loose on the Commonwealth? At least keeping him on a short leash kept the collateral damage to a minimum. The Institute Hitcher. took advantage of Kellogg's vicious oh, nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute. <clears throat> His cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you... us... to have some amount of revenge. Ah. What else can I say? Okay, Please you get a little mind. credit for that one. So you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future. No matter what those above ground might think. Now there I agree. Because the... Uh, they've got better technology than pretty much anyone else. Stupid Brotherhood. But, Director? Why you? I was the most qualified for the position. Obviously. I've lived my life within these walls. Dedicated to science like every other member of the Institute. My heart Another typo. has paid off. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. I know there's more for us to discuss, but the Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? You want me to stay here? In the Institute? Yes. That is what I propose. Is it so hard to imagine? The Institute no, sure. can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. Well, I need to bring uh, Hot Pants and Tits McGee. How can you say that? How can you be so dismissive of all those people? Everything they've done? Because it is the simple truth. And I believe you know it too. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interests at heart. Will you take that chance? Are you sure you want this? Yes, I am. It would benefit us both to work together. All right. Thank you. The Institute is now your home, what? as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. 
You want to introduce yourself to the division heads. Dr. Fillmore in facility. Fillmore. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in advanced systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. We've also got to find Virgil's cure. And then we'll discuss cure. what comes next. 